Every day our teams play for someone in our home audience. They could be playing for you if you send us a card and you're lucky enough to have it picked at random from our mail. Later, we'll tell you exactly where to write, but right now, let's show you what someone at home will win. A Monte Carlo, the luxury car that doesn't carry a big luxury price. Monte Carlo by Chevrolet, building a better way to see the USA. Next, you're off on vacation with the two-week adventure for two to fabulous Paris. Traveling in luxury on Pan Am, featuring theater in the air, tours on tape, weather insurance, and other extra value ideas, all new from the world's most experienced airline. Plus, stage-struck fashions by Happy Legs. Today's look and fabrics threaded with 40s nostalgia, new from Happy Legs. A complete wardrobe of men's slacks. An electric shaver, usable anywhere in the world. A complete ladies' cosmetic kit, and last but most sensational, you'll get $5,000 in cash to spend any way and anywhere you want, and they are all yours from the movie game. Did you make a Western? Well, what Western did you make, Roscoe? The Cowboys. What? The Cowboys. Did you win? Did I win? Yes, I guess I won. All right. I think you're not communicating. You made I don't a think so. Which you played when was what I said. Mm. Oh, when? Yes. Just recently in New Mexico and Colorado. Was it fun? Great fun. How did you get along with the horse? <laughs> the horse knew there was an ass on it. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I never have any empty horses in pictures. In Western pictures. Have you ever I hate to be in Western. Okay, remember. So, oh, I was supposed to tell you, folks, that somebody at home has got to win the ten thousand dollar package of prizes, and they will. Pinky swear. Right now, it's time for screen test number two. Hands on buttons, and we're going to see three props which were actually used in three famous film spectacles. In 1956, this sword was welded by Richard Burton, playing a man who conquered the known world when he was 31 years old. What do you say, Delestine? Alexander the Great? Alexander no. the Great. Now, we really are. Now, we really are. I know he's caught anywhere. Let me get <laughs> I, I think our light is working. Light. Oh, it's I working. tell you, these things work as I think it's a hundredth of a second, and if one goes, one button goes down a hundredth of a second before I the other. What are they beefing? They've been beating us. They've been beating us with I a finger every time. That. I was there when I, that sword was yes. being used, the and I knew why I recognized the sword, and I was waiting till you got the question out. If you hadn't been body surfing and hurt your arm and your and your rib there, your finger would have gone down. No, quite seriously, I was doing a picture it's in Rome when they were making out. Alexander the Great and Bridget Bardot was just a plain little garage of dam was the writer. That's a fact. And she had a brown hair. And, and that was, that was <laughs> not the question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, close up number one. Over to Della's team. Another genuine prop from a famous film. This crown was worn by Peter Ustinov as the Emperor Nero in a 1951 epic which co-starred Robert Taylor and Deborah Carr. Quo Vadis? Quo Vadis is correct. <laughs> Go ahead, Larry. You know that, don't you? Put it on, Larry. Put you know, it on. Inside. Hey, put it on. Yes. Hey, take that it on. That's for it. Make you want to cut off. The bow in the back. What? The, the bow, in bow the back. goes in the back, he said. This the goes bow. in the back? The bow goes in the back. The bow goes yes. in the back. It says in here, Peter Ustinov, case one, box 15, 18. Wonderful. 18. It's very good year. And uh, they found this on the floor. Mike Shaw, who brings us these costumes and props, found it on the floor and bought it for a dollar. It's uh, now insured for 3000 mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Pinky swear. Okay, close.